All right, what I'm showing you here is a, I told you working on a form of, um, let me turn this down, it's a little bit too loud. So we're working on a form of ultra short throw and long throw 3D uh, paint. Now the paint uh, we're using is a Supreme 7 Invisible. It also works if you spray this on a form of plexiglass, it turns it into front and rear, um, any form of transparent surface. But we also coated it on something really interesting, a very interesting surface that's pulling off this really strange and odd uh, 3D kind of uh, effect, as you're seeing right here. This stuff is crazy. The camera is having a very interesting time trying to capture it, but this stuff is really, really amazing. Um, so um, it involves several different forms of, of material. Um, it is a spray on application. I showed it off before. Uh, we were supposed to launch this about a couple of days ago, or actually about last month. I just haven't had the time. I've been extremely busy. But um, as of what we're finding out on what this stuff can do, on the different forms of applications that we can apply to, um, we may be um, launching this as a different form of technology. And, and man, it's absolutely incredible. It does give off a really interesting and crazy uh, 3D effect. Let me see if I can find something. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Now I've done this one on an ultra short throw. I'm going to do it right here with the screen laying against the wall. That's the screen laying against the wall. But it has a very interesting form of 3D effect. I can't get too close to the camera because it disrupts, but I want you to see how crazy this looks. So I'm gonna be doing some more testing on making a uh, kind of 3D hologram screens. But this is just to give you an idea on the level we're at right now. And there is a screen paint that's allowed me to be able to do this. So let me show you.
what I'm working with over here. So this right here is the screen paint. We're going to be changing the name of it now because it's a front and rear form of technology. But this right here is the, uh, we have a silver version of this, a clear version, and a black version of this. This is going to be a free option with the, uh, with the screen when we launch it. Um, this is a Supreme 7 Invisible Ambient Light Rejection Rear. We're going to change it to front and rear because it's just very interesting on how this stuff reacts. Every time we spray this on a different surface, it just reacts in the most strangest way. And as long as light can pass through it, it just has a really crazy, crazy reaction. Look at this. And this is fantastic if you're going to be using this for uh, light displays, if you're going to be using this for art displays, or going to be using this for uh, music. Um, abstract screens, or you're going to play all different kinds of abstract art in the background, uh, or musical instruments and so forth. But this stuff is incredible. Every time we work with this stuff, it always does something a little bit odd and strange. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Uh, tomorrow I'll be doing a demonstration on the Supreme 8. We'll be using a 1100 lumen projector. I've been getting a lot of interesting emails. People ask me what is the lowest amount of lumens they can use on the screen indoors. Just remember, keep in mind it's an indoor screen only. I'll have that information up tomorrow. But I just wanted to show you this. Now this was supposed to launch, this technology was supposed to launch last uh, month. I just haven't had time to get around to it, but we're gonna be changing a few things on the name. And as you can see, look at it, it's absolutely amazing. It just gives off a really, really interesting effect. And it's no 3D application needed to do it. So the technology we're going to be actually, when it's going to come out, it's going to be a front and rear now. Um, screen paint application, keep in mind it must be sprayed on. This is also fantastic for commercial use. And it can also pull a solid image also. So we can pull a solid image. Right up on it, no problem. I think I lost my lights. How to say? So yes, it is ambient light projection technology is embedded in it and it can pull up a solid image in a fully lit environment. Those of you that are curious to know. Really weird looking, isn't it?
always working on something new. Always working on something new. I think this is about the coolest thing. Now, see the lines you're seeing going back and forth from the camera? You don't see that in real life. So as I'm looking at the screen, I don't see it. This is what the camera picks up because the camera does have a hard time trying to register the screen because it does give off a very odd kind of 3D effect. So that's what the coating does. The coating gives it the ability to be able to pull off a very odd kind of hologram kind of 3D effect. But you don't see this on my end if you're looking at right at the camera. If you look at without the camera, and just to give you an idea that you know fully lit environment, it does have that ambient rejection technology gain times seven. Look how crazy that looks! And that's what that coating does. It transforms any kind of uh, front or rear material, anything that's transparent. It converts it into a 3D screen. And this is fantastic for abstract art. If you're doing shows, you're doing musical, you're doing plays, or whatever you're doing, art, this is tough. It's amazing. This green paint is absolutely amazing for it. So we will have it available. Um, I got to set up a display here so I can start taking pictures of it. But it will be available this week. We just have to change the labels out. Because instead of it being a rear, it's going to be considered to be front and rear. All right, look at that. Wow, that's beautiful. That is really beautiful. Look at that. that is beautiful. If you could see it on my end without the um, without the uh, uh, without the um, um, without the camera, you would be blown away. I mean, the camera looks insane. So we're gonna pack this with this kit's gonna come with two forms of surfaces. This one is actually a form of micro mesh we're using that was coated with the formula. Let's see how it reacts to it. So we're gonna basically put in micro mesh and a form of uh, clear transparent surface, uh, something for you to coat or spray. Keep in mind you can use this on plexiglass, glass, uh, anything, any form of surface as long as the surface is transparent. This is how you're going to get the best results out of this technology. This screen looks absolutely freaking wild. Alright, thank you for your time. I have to go and God bless.